Hi, this is MQ. In this video, I'm going to show you what are the prerequisites you need before starting the EMAS online exams. You need to have the latest version of the Chrome browser, whether you are using Windows, Mac, or a Chromebook. So how to get the latest Chrome? Well, if you already have it, you can just open up your Chrome, and then from the three dots over here, you just go to settings, and go to about Chrome, you will see here checking for updates. The latest version is the 88th version. So make sure you already have this version. If it's not updated, you will see a button over here. Click to update. If you don't have Chrome, then you open your browser, the one that you use currently. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge and basically just look for Google Chrome. and click on download chrome so this is for windows you need to know the mac equivalent of downloading applications so then you just simply open the file of course you need to give it some access for your device and then allow it to install when you open your chrome you need to make sure of one thing you see in the chrome you have the Chrome account which is on top and then you have the G Suite account which are here so currently I have two G Suite accounts I'm signed up from one of them and this is my main one and if you look on top I have only one Chrome account now you have to make sure before doing the online tests because they will be auto proctored you have to make sure that you are only signed in with one account in the Chrome browser so you see this icon on top you can just click on add and just type your name here you have this check to say create a desktop shortcut for Mac users I don't think they have it but it's fine you can just go with it now you already have your own version of Chrome over here so I'm not going to click on get started. I'm already a Chrome user. I'll just sign in and then sign in with your email. So now if you look on top, let me just link the data. Yes, I'm syncing everything I have in this account. So if you look on top, this is what you are signed in with. These are the other accounts. You don't have to look at them. But most importantly, if I look over here, there is no other account with me. And even in your desktop, you will see that you have two Chrome icons. So this is the one I just created, and this is my original one. So this is what you do if you are a family made up from uh, several people. Basically, every one of you should have their own Chrome browser. Don't keep on adding over here. All right. Now, all you have to do is just to verify that Autoproctor works with you. So if you go to Autoproctor, you have this try now. And you need to sign in for the first time only. So I'm going to sign in with my account, you see. It's very important that you don't have a list of accounts shown over here. Even if they are signed out, they have to be removed. So I'll click on the main account, Science Demo. I'm already signed in. Now you will see this uh, video, which, which will tell you how to conduct the test and the environment that you need to be in. So please watch it. I'm not going to show it over here, but for your case, you need to watch it. And it's asking you not to stop sharing the screen. So you just click on, you won't stop sharing the screen. And for the first time, it will show you this prompt that you are going to allow the use of microphone and allow the use of camera. And here is going to ask you to share your screen. So you click on the screen first, you select your screen and then click on share. Currently, it's being set. Uh, when you will definitely get this notification. You can just click on hide. So this is how the exam looks like you can see here there are some toast messages telling you what's happening so it's saying for example there is noise detected and if i go to another tab 
and then come back it will actually detect that you have went to another tab or went to another you see change the application so make sure you don't do that during the exam once you open it you just answer the questions that you see let me answer them over here there is a timer on the right click on the timer it will disappear so I'm just clicking on it yes it did disappear click there again it will appear okay that's good did it work yes it worked try covering the camera with your hand for a few seconds so if I cover the camera and I'm covering it yeah you see no face detected so yes this is this is working make some noise for seconds yeah it worked I'm already making noise and it's telling me noise detected so how does it work it's monitoring your video your audio the application and everything is being reported any other feedback uh, no need after finishing the test okay first yeah this is very important you click on the submit over here now you already submitted your exam and then you click on this green icon on top click after submitting the test so you need to click submit two times okay it will just give you a verification message yes I have finished submitting and that's it now the reports are not going to be shown to you you can you can click on your own report and check what is what has been monitored but the reports will be given to your teacher the teacher will know if you change the application the teacher will know if there are two people in front of the camera or you left the scene you're not in front of the camera anymore and everything and even if it says the noise was detected don't worry about it because even if you type it will say noise was detected and actually the teachers will opt will choose the option not to show you those uh, messages but they are there everything is recorded so don't worry about it even if the noise was detected the teacher can later know whether this noise was uh, in case of someone was talking to you or it was because of typing or environmental sounds like cars and all of that and uh, yeah that's it this is for the demo so basically to sum up you need to make sure you have the latest chrome browser download it if you don't have it download it try the demo test i will actually post the link in the description of this video the link for the demo test so make sure you try it make sure your camera is working your mic is working and your screen sharing very importantly you have to make sure ensure that you are only signed in with one account if i go over here and i click on my g suite accounts i only see one of them or else you will face issues during the test so please start by doing this add your own if you are multiple siblings keep on adding them in a chromebook you don't have this option you don't see the the top option for signing into an account and the lower option to sign in for a G Suite account. This the top one again is a Chrome account. This one is a G Suite account. In a Chromebook, the alternative is to sign out from the whole Chromebook and then sign in again with another email. So if you have more than one sibling, that's how you do it. In the description, I will add the link to the other video so that explains how it should be done in a Chromebook. Now the video is about the use of Chromebooks in general but it has a section of accounts and how you can sign in to a Chromebook at the start. So every time, if you are brothers and sisters, make sure when you click over here, you don't see any other account. You don't add any other account, even if you read that they are logged out or signed out. That was it. Please check and inform your face leader or supervisor. Don't worry, the exams will be easy, manageable. Do the trial, prepare yourselves, check your device is new, check that your camera and mic is working, check the auto proctor, settings and trial demo. You should be fine. Thank you so much. Thumbs up and subscribe for any future update.